What's up guys, my name is Josh and today I'm going to be showing you how to add settings to your option pages. Now this is a second part, the first part is how to add option pages to WordPress which I will put a link uh, on the screen here now and this is the second part on how to add settings so you actually want some settings to your option pages so you can actually do stuff with it. Um, in this in this particular video I will run through how to just um, set up settings and also use the settings to show something on the front uh, like for instance I've got it showing a top bar and I'm going to show you that later on um, so let's get straight to it um, I'm just in the back end of my WordPress site on the left and then on the right hand side and I'm just in my functions file of my theme or plugin however you want to go about it and I'm just currently where we left off. I've just got the functions and add action for add menu. Oh, what's going on? Oh, sorry about that. I've got an add action to, uh, for an admin menu. So I set up for a function theme theme admin menus and it's just building my main and uh, my uh, theme ad theme settings page, which is just under appearance. So the further down, what I'm the first thing we need to do is that we actually need to declare some settings as well. So when the page gets built, as in this page, uh, then you have we have to uh, register some settings as well. So we've got an add action here, admin init. Um, that's wrong. Oh, actually, that's right. Yeah, I've just forgot to add that. I'm going to call this uh, my settings group, just for basics. And the function it's going to run is this one, so it's going to be function my settings group and in there is going to register our settings so I haven't I haven't gone into fabulous detail into detailing what each one of these options is I've just gone with plain option one two three four and we'll run through each one of what each one of those does later on so I've got register settings my settings group option one my settings group it's from two three and four you want to do it for every pretty much every option you want I've got four options here I've got four four options here settings here so just do it for how many um, options you actually want. Next, we've got the uh, the actual building of the page, which was actually mentioned up here. So we this it's now building the page, but it's taking in our settings as well. So basic, just a basic uh, settings page. If the current user can manage options, if not, then permission denied. And now I'm bringing in my options. So I've got my I've just. Create a new variable, PHP variable, option one value equals uh, escape string, get option one, so it's going to get the option from here, and same with option two, option three, and option four, and just with the value values changed. Um, I have got a if statement for option two, which is actually this text box here. Basically, it's saying if option two equals nothing or null, then the options to value will be default so that would mean that if I take some out of that and click save it's going to automatically put it back in because it can't go it it needs to be a value for for whatever reason you might say I just want these you don't want it to be empty because if it's empty it might cause errors in your um, settings going forward so I've just put that in there just to declare that as default and then I've just left these option three and four just standard <clears throat> Right, so now to actually building the page. Uh, left off with just a couple of H2 tags and just an example. So we've got like that. that. But what I've done is that um, I've had a look around, right? And I've not seen many tutorials on how to build like the option pages, like the layout. Because there's not many decent tutorials explaining like, because I know that you can do like columns and wraps and, and etc. But I'm not quite entirely sure how to go about it. So I've just literally just used uh stole what's off um you know the default wordpress kind of layout it and the classes and i've just added that in just to kind of get the layout um and it seems to have worked so i ain't really that fussed so yeah so what we're going to do is open up uh div class wrap which is one of the wordpress uh, css for the admin pages just a simple h2 tag a paragraph this is and uh, and the settings example page or whatever you want to call it and what you want to do is that like, you want to open your form so you want we're declaring a form because this is a form essentially so we're going to say form method post actions options.php that's it 
PHP settings field, my settings group. So we're declare, we're saying what settings you want to use. So we're in my settings group. PHP do settings sections, my settings group. I'm not entirely sure if I actually need this. Um, I don't think I do. No, we don't need that, but it's in there for a reason, but I'm not entirely sure why it's there. So I'm going to comment that out because I don't, I don't believe I actually need that right now. Okay. So I've got my settings field and then I've got my table. So I'm now building a small table so I have to build some columns out. So I've just got just a simple table here and two columns. So we've got table, just laying out my table. You don't have to put it in a table. I just put it in a table just because it's neat. Um, <clears throat> so let's scroll down to our first input. Our first input is show top header bar. And it's a simple yes or no uh, input. Well, actually, it's just a radio input, but I've put yes and no as the labels. So what you want to do is that you want to put input type radio, ID options one, it's got to match options one. Name options one again has got to match your value either yes or uh, yeah whatever value you want and then this PHP echo string. Now this PHP echo string is basically going to say if options one value equals yes, then this box is checked, as in this in this radio is checked. Else it's not checked, so it just it's blank. Right, and then we've got the end of the label. And then the same thing for no, so input type radio, options one got a match, options one got a match, and options one value equals no. So if options one value equals no, then mark this as checked, and if not, it's unchecked. Okay, so that's basically that, basically it, and I'll just keep, I'll, I'll scroll down, let's we'll keep going through it. Uh, input type text. So the same again, it's got a, well obviously this is input type text, not radio. So this is this box here. And I've got ID options two, again it's got to match the top ones, and option two, again it's got to match. So you've got to make sure those values match. If they don't, then it won't work. And the value is simple, just PHP echo the option two value. So the value of option two, which in this case is default, because we said we don't want, if it's empty or null, we, we, we want the value to be default, okay? So that's pretty simple. The next one down is a select box. Now a select box, I did not find many tutorials on how to do a select box when having a browse. Um, because many people have different ways of doing it and some don't work with their later versions of WordPress and some do, but it's just a pain. It, it, was, off, it was a bit of a faff trying to find one, but I've, I've got one here. So this one actually, this works for me. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy about it. <clears throat> so I've opened up my select box and I've got my ID is option three. Again, same, it's got a match. Name, it's got a match. And I've just put in some values. I've just got some car types. So I've got Volvo, Saab, Mercedes, and Audi. So I've put in those options. Here we go. So but in, in this case, what I've got here is again with um, the same kind of style as this. So if options three value is equal to Volvo, then echo selected selected so that, that would basically mean it would echo just that word selected which that on its own in the option value will make that one the one that I've selected well actually I'll just show you that would be far easier wouldn't it option 3 so you see it's got the word selected so it's actually put the HTML text selected in there so it will set it will make sure that one is selected <clears throat> so again same thing throughout, obviously I've mixed Saab, the value of Saab, Saab, Mercedes, Mercedes, Audi, Audi, and put them at the end here. So we can test that out, just to be sure. So we've got Audi, save, and it saves to Audi. So you can refresh this page, and it still saves as Audi. So that's, it's that. So that works, that's good. And the last one is a checkbox. Um, I've just got input type checkbox, ID option four. Again, got a match, name, got a match, value, just one. PHP checked one options value. So if the value is, is checked, is number one, then this value is checked. So I can just say save and just refresh the page. It still saves it. So you can just uncheck it and save. So you can maybe have, I don't know, 
hide something or show something or same thing but yeah, this is just a basic example and to finally to finish it off PHP submit button save you need that because obviously we have that save button you 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 can't really do anything with your options and then we just break out and of uh, break back into PHP and close the function so that is pretty much it that is your settings page built now obviously you want to do something with these settings obviously it's 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 working in the back of here but you want to I don't know we, again we want to we want to add a, a header we want a nice a nice green header bar at the top so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna try we're gonna use these settings that we've now put into WordPress on the front of our website so we're gonna go to our header within our theme so we've got a default header like this and at the top of your page within your container which is this is my container just this one here you're gonna declare your function your your settings you're gonna call them out because obviously that that function file gets put on every page of WordPress so you, when you, you can you, you can start declaring them or you know referencing them uh, within a PHP tag so we're gonna open our PHP we're gonna say option one equals escape attribute get option options one again same from the front from the functions file and options two get option options two so now I've got a simple if statement so if option one is equal to yes then display this banner else don't display anything at all so the options one is our show top header bar so if I click if I save that and refresh this page I now have a header bar obviously yours may not look exactly like this because obviously I've just got a bit of styling just to kind of give it a bit more prominence and I'm also referencing options two, which is this text for text for the header bar within my div so you can do this options two, and then it'll just reference that so I've got default so I'll just change that to make sure it works I'll just say this is my top header bar and save and refresh this page and now it says this is my top header bar and obviously without it if it says no it gets rid of it, gets rid of it altogether now I won't go into detail with the rest of the options but the options are pretty much the same um, we would just say options 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 three and options four and then obviously you just choose what to do with them options you may want to um, I don't know remove your logo or add some extra text or I don't know remove that remove set it to remove this header altogether so you can hide it hide it off your entire website but this is just a basic understanding and um, this is how I've kind of figured it out my way of my method of doing this may be incorrect as other people or developers may say that you know there's a better way of doing it but this is just how I learned it um, I mean and this is obviously just for the de development anyway so you don't have to worry about it but if you are concerned about it then you can um, investigate and learn and do more about it and obviously learn how it's properly built follow different tutorials etc but this is just a basic example Thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like this video, if you didn't also let me know in the comments if, uh, if you didn't like this video so I can improve and make a better video. Um, any questions and comments leave them in the comments and I will get back to you as fast as soon as possible and thank you very much for watching.